Hi everyone, this is Debbie um, with Nana Feeding the Heart um, in Nana's Kitchen and still doing cooking. We like to say we changed our name a little bit to Nana Feeding the Heart. Um, and we're still doing Feeding the Heart, the Spirit, and the Tummy because that's what this is about. Um, this is one of the first recipes I'll be sharing with you that my husband and I accidentally uh, decided to video back in November 2023. For our kids and our grandkids who wanted the loaded baked, it's called crock pot loaded baked potato soup. So I have not made it again. That film did not get put out because it was the first time <laughs> we shot it, um, just for fun, just just to have it for our kids, and that's how this grew. They're like, "Hey, mom, can you do more of these? We would love to have these." <clears throat> so we decided to just start video, you know, recipes that I was talked about earlier in. Um, other videos that this is for kids and grandkids, for friends, and also some new friends are uh, subscribing, which we're excited about. And of course, that's another reason why I was able to change our channel to uh, Nana Feeding the Heart, which is a lot simpler. So, um, so we're gonna try this crock pot baked potato soup with a little twist. And I talked about that in some of my videos. You know, you could tweak it to whatever you have in your refrigerator. So, good news is we just got over Easter weekend here in Florida with our friends at Vero Beach, um, and they had leftover ham. So, it's still like in the bacon family. That's so right. <laughs> you usually use bacon, you know, when you order a baked potato um, okay. with the works, right? Yeah, loaded baked potatoes. Loaded baked potato with the uh -huh. works, the sour cream, onions, bacon. All the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, all the fun, good stuff. And, yeah. So, we're kind of tweaking that a little bit, but we're going to be close to it. But you can always use your bacon if you prefer, if you didn't have ham. But we made it with bacon. And we probably will be baking again, but we just happen to have some of this delicious ham left over. So we'll just get started. Okay, so where's our crock pot? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then it asks for the old, whichever it is, diced hash browns that you like. You can get the ones with the peppers in to make a little twist if you want it. But this is what the recipe calls for. So we're gonna dump one bag. And this has been freezing, so that's a little thawed out, but it's still frozen, which is okay, which is okay. And normally I use this as my trash bag on the last video, but since I already have a trash bag out, we're going to use that famous little trash bag. Put <laughs> it in here. All right, so it asked for one pack of ranch dressing, a packet. Well, I don't have packet, but I have my ranch dressing here. So that's equivalent to about a tablespoon. So, a good heaping tablespoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put that in there. Okay. Then, it calls for a block of cream cheese, which we've already opened. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> this is supper tonight. Yay. And maybe tomorrow night. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> There's only two of us. I usually have a bunch of kids around or grandkids around to, to eat. So, all right, a block of that. And then I am going to add where it would call for um, a pack of bacon bits, where you can fry up your own bacon and crumble in there, whichever you like. But I'm using cut up um, ham that we have left over. And it, ca it calls for green uh, onions on top, but I'm gonna add a little bit of onion flavor in my crock pot. So let's dump some of this ham in here, which is delicious ham. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of green onions. Like I said, you tweak it the way you want. If you don't want to add the green onions, absolutely leave them out. This is just optional. It's just something that I like doing. So I didn't ask if you like green onions in yours. Oh, I, I like them. <laughs> okay, good to know. All right, so now we're going to open two cans of cream of chicken soup. So dump those in there. This is really easy, isn't it? Oh, yes. I could probably do this. I think you could even make this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I know you can. Just go back and play the video a couple times. No, that's right. <laughs> so, that's one down. This is a nice quick meal that you can throw together in. Yes. Yeah. Uh, any day. Mm -hmm. Any day. Any evening. Get that morning before you leave. Uh, to go somewhere to work or church or just... You know, having a day you don't really want to cook by, you just put it on that morning 
or even that afternoon because this is like late afternoon right mm -hmm. so we could probably put it on high for a couple hours since we want to eat probably by six um so you know we'll probably brush it a little bit so put that in there there we go. Just kind of spread it around. Mm -hmm. And this, as it cooks too, your cream cheese obviously will soften and then you can stir it. Um, mix it all really good together, all the flavors together. Now, this is one of the last but not least. We got broth and cheese left. So let's just go ahead and put the broth in. This is a chicken broth, one box. Oh, yeah, it's overflowing. Cold. All right, so we're gonna do this. Mm -hmm. I hope everybody had a good Easter weekend. I know we did. We visit, like I said, friends at Barrel Beach and we will be putting out um, a video from Barrel Beach, Florida, of her sweet potato casserole that she makes and her family. So I'm looking forward to putting that out. We'll probably try to get that out tonight or tomorrow. So we'll have that one out. Then we'll probably put this one out. So stay tuned for that. And now the good stuff. Oh yeah. And the friend that I always talk about who doesn't like cheese is Peggy, the one who assisted me, where I assisted her at her house, making a sweet potato casserole. She's one of the say, I'm the one who doesn't like cheese. So if you're that one who doesn't like cheese and you don't want to add cheese, leave it out. <laughs> Optional. <Sure. laughs> so but we're gonna add cheese. So I would do, I'm gonna do about half a bag of the cheese and I'm gonna save the other half or a fourth bag, maybe fourth bag, um, for the topping of mm -hmm. your little baked potato soup. <laughs> and that way you have some more cheese and I'll have the green onions chopped up here shortly. While this is cooking, I'll prep the green onions. Oh, here they are, I was like, where'd yeah. they go? <laughs> I'll prep these nicely and then we'll have the cheese on top, green onions, and then you can also add sour cream on top. So this is basically, um, it. Um, you can make ham casserole. I was going to do that in a casserole dish, but we decided on the potato soup, the load of baked potato soup. So we will check back here in a few hours, which will be seconds for you, <laughs> as we know, and, um, and we'll come back and taste it or look at it and see what it looks like. Thank you for your time. Hey everybody, we are back with our loaded baked potato soup made in our crock pot today. And we're really excited about this because um, I'm really hungry. So I'm really excited. Me too. <laughs> so one thing I do want to add, um, I did forget to put in some pepper and I added pepper and a little bit of garlic salt or garlic powder, just a sort of dusting. Um, if you like it or not, it's fine. I didn't add salt because it has enough sodium with the ham and the chicken broth. So I did not add salt, but if you like it, you add it. So let's get started in dipping this out. And I don't know, Jimmy, if you can zoom in a little bit here. I can do my best. <laughs> look. Oh my, look how nice. How good. And like I said, this time I made it with a ham that was left over from Easter. And, um, mm. Mm hmm. Yes. We'll give you two ladles. Hey, good. <laughs> <laughs> I accept. You accept. Okay. All right. So let's start there. And then I have some toppings here, um, like a little tablespoon of sour cream. Yes, or a please. Tablespoon. Yes, right. please. We're going to do it like a loaded baked potato you would get in a restaurant. Well, let's put some cheese over it. I'm sure you like cheese. Uh, absolutely. And just kind of a little bit more cheese, right? Mm -hmm. We like cheese. So, let's see what you think. It is good. All right, I did chop up those green onions. They were really pretty. So we'll put you a little dab of that on and then you can always add but later if you want more oh yeah that mm -hmm. looks like a loaded baked potato with ham versus bacon now if you want to go crazy you get some bacon bits out and put it on top of that oh yeah Oops. yeah bacon and ham that. overload <laughs> <laughs> so the meat lovers meat lovers a <laughs> uh, meat lover special with bacon <laughs> and ham so that would be awesome and I have a couple of our Hawaiian uh, rose left over from a recipe I had early on, making French toast with Hawaiian rose. Um, so we're gonna serve that. Um, so we wanna thank you guys for watching. Um, I saw a scripture somebody written on their little board as we were uh, walking down the road here a little bit ago, and it said, a cheerful heart 
for a giver? Yeah, cheer, cheerful give, giver. Yeah, a cheerful giver. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking of different ways we could be a cheerful giver. That's hard for me to say today. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't have to be finances or anything. It could be a bowl of soup. And you do it in your heart. It could be a hug or whatever it might be. But be cheerful when you give. So mine is I show love through my food for my family and friends. So thank you guys uh, for loving this and subscribing. So please hit and subscribe.